I told you it's going to be a great night. Uh, we're dealing with championship caliber and championship winning coaches. I got Coach uh, Bronkema here from Ferris State. Congratulations to you, Coach, on the Division II championship. Appreciate it. Yeah, we can't really talk long. His phone is blowing up. Everybody's calling. Everybody's trying to get some insight on what he's doing. Uh, hailing from uh, McBain, Michigan, near Cadillac. He showed me on the map where that is. That's right here. But, Coach, uh, congratulations. And let's just talk about what this season has been like for you right now. Well, it was a season that started out with a lot of expectation. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is something that we dreamed about doing. And then mm -hmm. to take it coast to coast like we did mm -hmm. and uh, actually have the dream come true, mm -hmm. um, it was something special for us. Wow. So was there a time during the season that uh, it looked like this is no way this can happen? And I'm sorry for not knowing enough about how the season went. Uh, not, not really. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we were expecting a little more adversity. And uh, there was a few times where, you know, we were battle, we were battle tested. We sure. were in some close games sure. and we played some great teams. Sure. But, uh, the, the dream stayed alive all year long and mm -hmm. uh, until we finally did it. So, again, a special year and uh, the things that have happened to us, you know, in the community with the mm -hmm. university and, and mm -hmm. just everybody rallying together. It's, sure. it's been amazing. Sure. So you talk about um, the dream stay alive, meaning that you were planning this before the season starts. So. The championship run doesn't start in March or April. It starts what way back when in the summer and before then, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, you, you recruit these these student athletes mm -hmm. with the idea of winning it all. Sure. And you say it out loud. And this particular group had, had put in some hard work, like a lot of other teams. Mm -hmm. But it was their goal. They mm -hmm. they set it out loud at, at the beginning of the year with our team retreat, and they said we want to win the national championship. And, wow. Um, you know we don't want to throw those things around lightly. Sure. But, but we let them do it and. Uh, they did. I mean, when you talk about the team retreat, your, your players saying that, it sounds like you got some special, special players on your team, and that's really helped you out a lot. I mean, all-time all greats. So the winningest class in the history of the school we're talking about. And wow. uh, guys with high character and all, all willing to sacrifice. So mm. each one of them has a story of sacrifice for sure. our team. So, sure. Um, and that's what it takes to have to have a better chance, a large, larger margin of error sure. um, to have that sacrifice. You, you say sacrifice, and when you said the first time, it really touched a, a note. Uh, we got all these coaches from all over the state here. We got NBA-level coaches here, high school, AAU, Pee Wee League, whatever you want to call. Uh, what kind of sacrifice does everybody have to make, and how do you get people to buy in and be willing to sacrifice when they've been so individually orientated for so long? Well, First of all, it's pretty, winning helps. You know, sure. When you're winning, it does help, doesn't yeah, it helps. It's a, it's a, it's a big band-aid. Sure, it covers sure. up a lot of hurt. Um, but you, you try to vet some of that out in the recruiting process, uh, under promise, over deliver. Okay. And then when, when you get there, you know, when, when you see that body language slipping, um, mm. and, you know, you just you get on it right away. So and, you're uh, watching for the, um, not necessarily the verbal, but just the body language and all those other things. So yeah. you're paying attention. Paying attention, that's non-negotiable. When that happens, it, it's snuffed out right away. You have to deal with it. And the thing is, you know, they, they believe. They believe in each sure. other and, and, and they sacrifice. So right. it was that's a big it. deal for us. Coach, uh, for those who don't know uh, what your road to uh, glory has been, talk a little bit about your, your coaching history, your story coming out of McBain, and what kind of got you to this point right now. Well, it's been an interesting story. It's, it's not a typical one, but I don't know a lot of stories that are typical. Sure. So, um, you know, I graduated from Cornerstone University. I had my playing career there. It's an okay. NAI school mm -hmm. and, and a very established one, you know, mm -hmm. three-time national champions uh, at the school. Okay. Um, so we had some success there. Sure. And I, I moved to Big Rapids for a teaching job okay. uh, with my wife, and I was an elementary PE teacher. Okay. And I just, Were you recruiting then, Coach? No. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I would, hey, I could have been. Yeah, I sure. Been, but... I volunteered for three years, mm. you know, for, for, for nothing while teaching. So that that gave me a three-year interview. I became the head head assistant for three years, mm -hmm. and then my boss took another job, and and you know I got an interview and was the last man standing. Right. So now I've right. been head coach for five years. Get out of here! Now was that uh, volunteer? Were you volunteering at Ferris? All eleven years at Ferris. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? That is unique in that case. But I think you said a, a key word, that volunteer, and that's like a dirty word or mm. eight-letter word to some people. Oh, if I'm not getting paid, I'm not doing it. What yeah. do you have to say to that? I just, well, that's how I made my break. And uh, same for my assistant, Jim Lake, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, other people on our staff. Same for my brother. He's the head coach at Grand Rapids Community College, and he started out as a volunteer. And it, you're right. It's something that people aren't willing to do. With three years of volunteering, sure, sure. And for me, it was just a joy because... Sure. You know, I had a job that would pay the bills, sure. take care of my wife. And that's what I was getting at yeah. next, man. What did Mama think about that? She yeah. said, hey, I'm getting it. Uh, how did you deal with justifying that time away when you couldn't necessarily justify it being a supplemental income? Did you have to get into the weeds on that? No, I mean, at first it was just me and her. 
You right. know? So um, once we started having kids, it was a little different. You know, mm-hmm. there's some more sacrifice with, with our family. But right. It was just she she knows me so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She knows I needed. Yeah. I, I needed yeah. that. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of other hobbies uh, that, that, or vices that could be worse than loving, hobbies, vices. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Than you're than right loving about, basketball. And she knows where you are. You're either in this gym or on the road <laughs> at that. Right, one. That's important. Well, look, we appreciate everything that you're doing. But just to wrap up, uh, no, Coach Nick Saban, after he wins the national championship, the next day he said he's back on it again. I mean, how much time do you have to celebrate, to enjoy before you kind of get back on it again? We're, we're the same way. It's, mm-hmm. it's, the, ne- it's the next day, and uh, we're already trying to. We always say if it's available, we're going for it. So the next wow. year's championship is available, and uh, we're working hard every day wow. to, be, to be the best we can. Next year's team is going to be different. Sure, and, sure. Uh, we lose some, we lose some talent, but sure. we're going to be going for it. So we just keep that mental toughness like we were talking about. That's right. And, That's uh, right. You know, do the best we can. Coach, great job. Best of luck in future. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks, Thanks for stopping you. by. Thank okay. You. Great. We're going to catch up some more. All right. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's great. That's great. 